Okay, so I'm Alex from Alex KUI, and I've decided to make this video because I find it really tricky to set up voice control and voice commands on React, and I would like to show you how I achieved it. Uh, you can probably figure something better out, but it is just to just to get the foundations going, just in case you don't know where to start or something. So hopefully, I can help some people out. So as you can see, I have created this app where you can uh, go plus to increment and minus to decrement the counter. But if you refresh the page, I can say next, 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 back. And as you can see, the the actual counter is is going up and down. So yeah, that's what we will be building. All right. So here we are in Visual Studio Code, and uh, the first thing I did was just run npx create React app. So just create the Bootstrap, and once you've got that, I named it React Voice Control. By the way, it doesn't really matter what you name it. So the first thing you want to do once you have it opened in your favorite editor is uh, <coughs> Is you want to delete all the crap that comes with it so for example you've got the, the I, I won't need the CSS you don't need the logo um, you know I'm just gonna delete all the random crap that it comes with like the service worker and well, I can delete the test as well it's not needed the logo not needed and then what you want to do is obviously remove them from the imports as well and then remove that and then once you've got that we can go ahead and run npm start <clears throat> this should start your um, your react project okay so I already have a project running yes I'll actually stop this project from running okay so now it should open up on localhost and you will probably see nothing if you have deleted everything of course App is not defined. Um, today, oh, I didn't import. I removed app, didn't I? Okay. There we go. Right. So we've got a blank project going. So the first thing we will do in App.js is uh, <clears throat> create some variables. Or actually, first we will import. Uh, a couple of things because I will be working uh, from functions and I'm not going to create a class so I will import use state and use effect and then what we want to do is create some variables to use speech recognition so to actually use speech recognition you will need to create a variable I'll call it speech recognition it's probably the best way to do it and then window dot speech recognition or webkit or window dot webkit speech recognition now, these might be a bit um, <clears throat> hard to spell and you might get it wrong <laughs> but hopefully you won't have an issue now what you want to do is create a another variable and call it recognition and then we will equal that to the actual speech recognition object and once you've got that you should have uh, the actual speech recognition and then get the object initialized so now we can actually start the recognition we will start it outside of the function because app will update every now and then so if, if recognition starts multiple times on one occasion it'll just give you a big error so right so the first thing we actually should do well the second thing now but what we we should do is just set up the the actual interface so we will have a paragraph that will say counter and then we will have two buttons and the button is just gonna have plus uh, we'll copy and paste this one and we'll have another one that says minus and now we want to make state we want to get some state going here so what you want to do you want to make constant count set count and then you want to use state and we'll equal it to zero so this just creates state this is the same as doing this dot or this is the same as doing it in your constructor doing this dot state equals the object um so we have count and then we have 
set kind, which is going to be the function that it will run that will change kind. Kind is equal to zero. And what we want to do now is unclick. We want to make sure that um, on click we get uh, brackets. We want to run a function, an anonymous function, that will do uh, set kind. Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah. So we want to do an anonymous function that will set kind. It will run set kind and it will add one to it when you click plus and then we want to do the same thing for the other one but it will take one away from it by the way I am reading this off reference I did make the code it's just I don't want to forget anything during this recording so the next thing we want to do is actually start or create the voice command function so to create the voice command function all we're gonna do is actually create a function an arrow function doesn't really matter you can use function or use the ES6 syntax right so now inside of this function we want to make do something when the recognition actually starts so there's different event listeners for the recognition object so you can do recognition to on start there's also speech end and other ones on start uh, put that into a function so when it started I want to console.log voice is activated okay so once we got that it should now allow us to speak and it will say voice activated so if we go back to our project it'll ask you if you want to use your microphone and you want to click allow and then once we go to console hello okay voice activated must have hello 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 okay well it's not printing out anything uh, 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 uh. oh okay I'm stupid right so what you want to do is actually uh, run use effect and this will this will basically allow you to run this is the same thing as like uh, event hooks such as componented might and stuff so you just want to run voice commands and now once you got that and we refresh hello as you can see voice is activated voice is running all good all good okay so the next thing you want to do is uh, do something when you actually get a result so we'll just put a comment com comment here on start and then we'll do one here do something when we get a result so this will be recognition dot on result and then you want to get the event this will give you the object of whatever is in the actual recognition result so now we want to make a variable in here call it current and that will be equal to e dot result index which will be zero because we will only say one word and once the one word is done then it'll stop recording so then what you want to do is actually get the transcript so we want to do transcript equals e dot results so we'll get all of the results and then we want to get the current index and then the first of that object and then we want to get the actual transcript so this will just go through and find the very first thing so if we actually console.log this and we go on to chrome and we refresh hello see it gives hello so that is the first word we say and it also stops recording okay okay so the next thing you want to do is there's actually a bug on mobile where it will once you say something it will say let's say you say hello it'll say that twice and then it can cause some issues i definitely had that issue but with the help help of some stack overflow i find this solution which is we will create a variable and call it mobile repeat bug and equal that to current equals equals one and let me just check if i'm writing this correctly yeah and 
transcript equals equals uh, e dot results zero zero dot transcript. Now this will just make sure that we are getting the actual first result and it won't get any other results or it won't get two results. It will make sure it will only be one result. So now to actually get the voice command thing all done, what we need to do is first we need to check if the mobile repeating bug is false. And if that's false, then we want to do another if statement inside of that. And do transcript is equal to next or transcript is equal to space next. Now, there's definitely a better way to do this. This is the way that I find that is probably the easiest. I'm not sure. But basically, when you say next multiple times, for some reason, the, ne the second time you say next, it will put a space between it. So this is just a quick improvised way of fixing that but it seems to work fine. Uh, then what we want to do is set the count, count plus one. So we're, we're literally just doing the, we're just changing the state by using the set count function that we made there. And so that will set count plus one. And then we will also do another if statement and do that transcript equals equals back or transcript equals equals space back. And then we just want to do set count, count minus one. Now, <clears throat> now that we have that, we should be able to test it out, but we probably will get an error. So next, oh, I forgot something. So here we actually want to print out the state. So we just want to do count and that should print out the state. Next, next. Okay, so first of all, it stops after we first say it, but even if we continually run it, it will just give us an error saying that the voice or recognition has already started. So what we want to do here is after the the actual recognition on result, uh, we want to set a timeout, or not the recognition on result, this is after the if statements or the mobile repeating bug. So what we want to do is we want to set a set timeout. This is going to be good for mobile because when I was building my app, I realized that there's an issue with uh, mobile where, well, it's not really an issue, but once you click the microphone button, it, uh, it stops after you say something and it doesn't continuously run, even if you have the continuous variable set. So what you want to do is just make a set timeout and start that again, but only do that after 50 milliseconds. So this will run it again after, but we also need to make sure we stop it somewhere. So what we wanna do here is inside of the voice commands function, but out of the unresolved uh, function, what we wanna do is we want to do an on speech end. So when the speech actually ends, Recognition dot on speech end is equal to equals okay. So now what we got there is when you actually stop talking, it should do this. So we want to stop the recognition by doing recognition dot stop, and then we'll also console dot log voice stopped. And now we should, in theory have a working voice command. Now you can change the voice commands to anything or use it to whatever you'd like to use it for. Um, but I mean, it could be useful in a lot of situations. The only issue is with this, with voice recognition is that it only works on Chrome. So you have to add some sort of um, check where it checks if it's Chrome because your app will just crash otherwise. Right, so. If we reload the page, next, 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 back. Okay, so there you have it. It is working. The only issue you may face is sometimes it won't actually get your your voice. 
that could probably because probably be because of my accent I'm not too sure but uh, hopefully this video has helped some of you um, it's not too hard to get set up um, I will also give a link in the description for the github uh, repo so you can look at the code yourself and maybe even improve it yourself I know this is probably the, the not the best way of doing it but hopefully it helped you anyway just to get going and if you had any issues maybe I helped you with some of it and if you do have any issues with this code please let me know in the comments or you can just look it up on Stack Overflow that's how I figured out how to do the mobile repeat bug and also the fact that on mobile it stops the the recognition automatically but yeah thank you for watching if you think this helped you or it did help you please like and subscribe the video it will help me out and also there will be more coming so if you subscribe you'll get notified okay so thank you for watching bye